Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning, and praise the Lord. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. Today we celebrate James the Apostle, brother of our Lord, also known as Iacobos. According to some, this saint was a son of Joseph, the betrothed, born of the wife that the latter had before he was betrothed to the ever-virgin. Hence he was the brother of the Lord, who was also thought to be the son of Joseph, Matthew 13. But some say that he was a nephew of Joseph, and the son of his brother Cleopas, who was also called Alphaeus, and Mary his wife, who was the first cousin of the Theotokos. But even according to this genealogy, he was still called, according to the idiom of the scriptures, the Lord's brother because of their kinship. This Iakovos is called the less, Mark 1540, by the evangelists, to distinguish him from Iakovos, the son of Zebedee, who was called the Great. He became the first bishop of Jerusalem, elevated to this episcopal rank by the apostles, according to Eusebius, and was called Obliah, that is, the just, because of his great holiness and righteousness. Having ascended the crest of the temple on the day of the Passover, at the prompting of all, he bore testimony from there concerning his belief in Jesus, and he proclaimed with a great voice that Jesus sits at the right hand of the great power of God, and shall come again upon the clouds of heaven. On hearing this testimony, many of those present cried, Hosanna to the son of David. But the scribes and Pharisees cried, So, even the just one hath been led astray. And at the command of Ananias the high priest, the apostle was cast down headlong from thence, then was stoned, and while he prayed for his slayers, his head was crushed by the wooden club wielded by a certain scribe. The first of the Catholic or general epistles, written to the Jews in the diaspora who believed in Christ, <clears throat> was written by this Iacovos. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our epistle reading this morning is from Galatians chapter 1, verses 11 through 19. Brethren, I would have you know that the gospel which was preached by me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it, and I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and had called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia, and again I returned to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas, or Peter, and remained with him fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Our Gospel reading is from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 54 through 58. At that time Jesus came to his own country and taught the people in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all of this? <clears throat> and they took offense at him. 
But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere, filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, gracious Lord. We should ponder these things and other such things so that we can trace out more clearly what kind of goal we have and so that we can run as quickly as possible to obtain it for we do not know what tomorrow holds. The time of death is unknown. Only good deeds done for God will remain and will follow man beyond death. That's a quote attributed to Elder Ephraim of Arizona. Now, my name is James Newcomb, and you may be thinking today is... uh, my saint day, the day of my patron saint, and so you owe me a drink. Well, that would not be the case. Although we do celebrate James, the brother of the Lord. Today, my patron saint is James Intercisus of Persia. His, uh, uh, his name day is November 27th. So no, I don't owe you a drink. I don't owe you anything, except... <laughs> This, this podcast. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. Thank you for joining me today, and we will close our time together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.